Uh, well, unfortunately, this video is going to be coming out really late. Really late in the sense of this won't, you won't be able to be able to see this until most likely Friday, which I was actually planning on watching the episode for so yesterday and then record it and then possibly upload it today. But yesterday I completely forgot to do it, and today I didn't feel good. I didn't feel right. It wasn't 100%. I just didn't feel like getting up out of bed even and even 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 though I did eventually get out of, get up out of bed I just didn't feel right and plus I kind of forgot that I had already needed to watch the episode beforehand but it's neither here or there anyways welcome back to another Borto episode review today we are going to be reviewing I believe it is 38 I don't remember. I don't remember what episode this is, but we are going to be reviewing the next episode of Boruto, Boruto episode 39. That's what it is. <laughs> Apologize for saying that was 38. 38 was last week, and yeah. So uh, I went into this thinking that it was going to be, you know, pretty good. I went into this thinking that it was honestly going to be pretty good because it's character driven towards Mitsuki which if you aren't reading the manga you probably don't know a lot about the character anyways and if you're just following the anime they're kind of vague with him a lot of the time and they don't really show like what he can and can't do with like subtle glimpses glimpses of what we have seen and of what he could potentially do and this episode just further proves that Mitsuki is probably if not the strongest you know, Genin of all the new generation. He is kind of ridiculous. Considering not only is he the son of Orochimaru, he also has another thing that makes him almost extremely overpowered. Actually, not even almost. It makes him extremely overpowered for stupid reasons. Either way, um, yeah, so the episode is basically just kind of backstory and a plot about around Mitsuki and like kind of what he is and where he came from and I already kind of knew he was the son of Orochimaru and because it's Orochimaru I kind of already assumed that uh Orochimaru I don't think he can I don't think he can you know mate <laughs> I guess you could say with another woman and even then he's probably already kind of a woman himself but he but it doesn't really seem like he can produce children, right? So, obviously, Mitsuki's probably artificially created, but he does have some Orochimaru cells to make him, you know, genetically Orochimaru's son, which is most likely the case, and that's what it is. So, the episode begins off with Sarada and Mitsuki. They're waiting for Boruto, and next week we're actually going to be getting Team 7, the new Team 7, going on their first mission so that should be pretty exciting but in in this we see Minsky and Sarada they're waiting for Boruto to kind of show up so they can go rendezvous with uh, Konohamaru most likely because of what we see in the previews for next week uh, if there even is an episode next week which there might but you know you, you never know really so anyways so after that we get the intro obviously and then we get to a shot where Mitsuki is there he's laying there he's kind of like got wires all over him not wires but he's got like tubes all over him to kind of make him healthy because he looks like he was just in the middle of a, a fucking fight right so the beginning of the episode basically is like Mitsuki doesn't have any of his memories he lost a lot of memories of events that happened previously beforehand Orochimaru gives him some medicine so he can feel better and then, yeah, so Mitsuki knows of his name because obviously they tell him his name, but he doesn't remember, like, who he is, who is his parent, whatever. But obviously they tell him that he is the son of Orochimaru, and Orochimaru is obviously there. He's doing what he needs to be doing. And basically the, the whole, you know, plot, I guess you can say, is it's those two and they're going after this samurai-looking guy, even though Orochimaru calls him... A shinobi which uh, he looks more like a like a samurai if you if you remember 
and Shippuden and like the Warhawk, there were like a bunch of samurais that were with the allied shinobi forces. He looked more like that, but I guess he's a shinobi, like a ninja, so it's kind of whatever. So it's like, I don't really have an opinion on it, especially because of what happened, what happens later on in the episode. Uh, uh, what, uh, uh. I don't really have anything else to say about him though, considering what happens later on in the episode. So we get a shot with Orochimaru, he's sitting there and he's talking to someone, right? And we don't know who he's talking to because they don't show us his face and plus he's covered up by a cloak. And so they're telling him this next one is, this one hopefully goes as nice as, as it's supposed to be desired. And I'll go ahead and just uh, say it right now. This is like the sixth time that they had made Mitsuki go through this. And that is to do something. I, 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 I kind of forgot uh, kind of what happened, but some crazy stuff happens later on in the episode. And basically, Orochimaru is kind of making Mitsuki go through like this like kind of like trial thing. And if he doesn't get it right, then he's just, then they have to make him go through it all over again and wipe out his memories through a drug, which is apparently affecting Mitsuki's body a lot more than they would like to. Especially because this is Orochimaru's son, and Orochimaru actually shows in the episode that he does very much care for Mitsuki, and that was never shown in like part one or Shippuden whatsoever. So it was kind of interesting. So not only do we get some of that, Orochimaru actually tells Mitsuki that he is, you know, one of the legendary Sanin, which. You know, I, I don't know, I don't really get why he had to let him know that, but I guess because it is his dad, it's whatever, right? So, they get to, like, this cave kind of, like, area, and inside of it is, like, this, like, small, like, thin mountain with, like, a house on top of it, and then surrounding the area is an entire barrier, right? And the barrier, uh, they can't get through it, but the only one who can actually, like, take down the barrier is Mitsuki, and we'll get into explanation why he was able to take down the barrier later on. So Orochimaru is basically telling Mitsuki that he needs to put his hand on to the barrier, and then so they can get through. So they get through. Orochimaru and uh, the masked samurai-looking guy they fight. He uses paralysis jutsu. Obviously, it doesn't work on Orochimaru. Even even if he was purposely going for Orochimaru, um, it probably wouldn't have worked either way. So. They fight, Orochimaru does like the snake thing where he shoots a snake out of his arm thing, uh, his, uh, the, the, his arm sleeve and the snake goes in and tries to bite him to shoot poison. And then, uh, and then the guy in the armor uses uh, Ninja Art Armor Eater, which is a very interesting technique and I don't think we've seen anything similar to that, but basically it kind of looks like it was like a Shadow Paralysis Jutsu. But it completely engulfs Orochimaru and kind of traps him in and, and he's stuck and he can't get out. But Orochimaru, before he was trapped inside, let in a snake through little openings of the person's armor. So that way he can let in a little snake and poison him, obviously, right? Because that was the plan that he was kind of trying to do either way. And before Orochimaru actually gets engulfed inside the jutsu, he actually says he has sage power. And I was like... Uh, what is what does that mean by sage power? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So, anyways, the guy, and like the samurai-looking outfit, he uses an antidote for the poison that was hit on him from Orochimaru and then his little snake, right? And so he starts looking at Mitsuki and he's like, "Yo, I need you to take off the mask for whatever reason, right?" So Mitsuki goes and extends his arm. He takes off the mask. And then he's surprised by the person's face. And you're probably wondering, why? It's because the guy behind the mask is also Mitsuki, right? Which caught me off guard, but it's like at the same time, I, I'm i not that surprised by it because it's Orochimaru. It's supposed to be like this trial kind of like thing, like almost maybe like psychological warfare kind of shit. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy, you know, it's kind of crazy when you really think about it. So, Orochimaru was planning on getting a scroll, and inside the scroll is what, is what Mitsuki has been referring to as his son. If you know what I mean when I'm saying that, 
then you'll get if you know what if you've been watching Borzo, you'll know what I mean when I say that. So his son, right? Not Miski's like like biological son. Like no, like the son, like the star that lights up our fucking day, right? <laughs> I said I was going to stop swearing more in my videos. I don't know if I've been swearing a lot in my video either way, but that was one of the first times that I could notice me swearing. So I apologize for that. So anyways, Mitsuki takes off the mask. Uh, it's basically adult, like, uh, artificially created Mitsuki. It's kind of crazy. It kind of caught me off guard a little bit, not going to lie. And he's telling him, like, yeah, Orochimaru's trying to manipulate you because you're a child and you lost your memory. And Orochimaru's basically the same thing about the guy and then Mitsuki is like freaking out he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know who to side with and then boom out pops uh, the aura the kind of like blue kind of like green ish tint aura that we saw uh, uh, like a couple weeks back uh, when Mitsuki was fighting Shino and uh, I don't know if Mitsuki was using this like fully because it was like a different like color from when he used it against Shino, but in this episode he goes like full on like he goes like full on like transformation mode. He gets when, like earlier when Orochimaru was talking about like yeah Mitsuki you have sage power. I'm guessing that he means that he has he has freaking sage mode, dude. Because he gets like an aura it engulfs him. There's like a whole bunch of like snake like aura things coming around him. His hair is freaking flowing back and then uh, and then for some reason like a horn pops out of his out of, out of his forehead and then uh, his eyes if you play persona and if you know uh, the main protagonist that you play as uh, i mean persona 5 by the way if you play persona 5 then the main character when he takes off his mask for the first time in persona 5 uh his like eyes like get covered in black like the same thing kind of happened with meat skin he, he looks really cool i'm not gonna lie if the outfit was different uh, the design for this would have been a lot more a lot more badass in my opinion, but so far he, he, he looks really cool He's like engulfed with like like s like snakes and stuff even though it's like his aura uh, He's got the horn thing which doesn't really make all that much sense It kind of reminds me of, of the Tensegon chakra mode that Toneri used in Naruto the last but it's completely different as far as we can tell because it was stated that, or it is said that he has sage power, so that means this has to be sage mode. And I remember, I remember a lot of times when my friend Marco comes over, and we're always like, "Why did Kaputo get sage mode? That was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. I didn't like that whatsoever." And he, and he and I would agree, to, would agree with each other, and we didn't understand why, uh, why, why didn't Orochimaru get sage mode, right? And it just didn't make all that too much all too much sense, but maybe he has it now. Maybe he can get it now, and he just chooses not to. And and then he also said one time, I think I think he said this one time. I'm not entirely sure, but he he started debating whether or not if Sage Mode, like Sasuke, can get Sage Mode. And honestly, I wouldn't really prefer if he got Sage Mode, just because it's like. Sasuke's already overpowered as is, and if he became more powerful by getting Sage Mode, I, I wouldn't really appreciate that. Speaking of Marco, he's actually texting me, because I shot him a text of Mitsuki basically having Sage Mode now in Boruto, and Mitsuki blitzes, like, adult Mitsuki, like, mutated, uh, not mutated, but uh, artificially created, in, like, adult Mitsuki in Orochimaru. He takes the scroll, he takes the key to open the scroll, and then he books it out of there, right? And then that's when they start talking about, like, oh, yeah, this is, this is the final, this is, this is the final try, you know? We're done. He needs, he, all he needs to do now is, you know, do whatever he's doing now, which is to find his son, and inside the scroll was a picture of Boruto regist registering for the Academy. So that was basically it. That's kind of the end of the episode from what I can remember. And the final shot is basically uh, Mitsuki, Sarada, and Boruto leaving to wherever the hell Konohamaru is. So that way they can continue on with next week. And yeah, this episode was really, really good in my opinion. I, I Like I said, it's about a lot of the episodes that came out like the past like month or two. Like, like, oh, this is the best episode. Da, 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 da. No, I genuinely think that this is probably the best episode of the series. Now, people who really like the whole Shin Uchiha arc are going to be like, no, that was the, those had some of the best episodes. Uh, no, I'm going to have to disagree with you. 
Anyways, I think I rambled on long enough. And actually, just out of curiosity, let's see with, let's see what my friend Marco had to say. <laughs> let's see what he had to say. He said, "What? That makes no epic sense." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That it's. I, I don't. I don't know either. I don't. I don't really get why he has it, but maybe. Just maybe, maybe what he did was he took the cells from Orochimaru took like the cells from himself with Kabuto and then artificially created it and created Mitsuki with the two of the cells from two different people and because Kabuto has sage mode, maybe he then has sage mode? Um, I don't know, I don't know. There's a lot of explaining that needs to be Mention maybe there's a lot more explanation in the manga that I just have no idea of but anyways again I think I rambled on long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here If you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you want content just like this and don't forget to push that push notification button Bell night icon so you never miss a new video. I'm fucking up this outro. I'll see you guys in the next one And I'm out